I haven't even told anybody that I'm doing this. Now I'm a little nervous. But I'm excited. But I'm nervous. I forgot to film an intro, so here it is. <laughs> Filming <laughs> at the end of the day. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael. I make content mostly about the LGBTQ community and um, overcoming mental health issues and bettering my mental health which we are doing today. This is a video of me overcoming what my biggest fear was this morning when I started filming. <laughs> so I have something really big that I want to do and I feel like I'm ready to do it. My own self is holding me back because I have created this, this sense of pressure and anxiety that is just not really there. Here's my problem. If you've been following me for a bit or if you're familiar with my story, I had a midlife crisis like a year ago. Um, I had to quit my job, uh, move back in with my parents, and basically couldn't do anything for at least a few months. I was struggling to do basic home tasks, etc. I wasn't going out of the house. I wasn't um, doing much of anything really. And I've done a lot of work and I've gotten myself um, slowly building up doing more and more things. I feel like I'm ready to go out by myself, period. I'm really close to the grocery store. It's a few blocks away. And I have a commuting scooter. It's like electronic. It's meant to go like long distances. And I was planning on just like going to Smith's and grabbing myself a thing of ice cream and Q-tips because I need those <laughs> and coming home. And I've just created all this stress around it. Besides the stress of doing something really big for the first time, I haven't even told anybody that I'm doing this. This is the morning of, and I still don't know if I'm going to go tonight. Like, I kind of feel like I should take a break and maybe, maybe I shouldn't push myself, but also I really want to go. <laughs> it's Friday and I feel like Friday is the day that you buy ice cream and, and you, you'll be happy. I don't know. I'm also a little worried that I'm not fully allowing myself to feel this feeling and like process through it so that I can feel better because... I got a little sick last night, I started getting a headache, and this has happened to me before when there's an emotion that I'm kind of stuffing down and I'm having a hard time feeling, is I like kind of make myself ill, but then I'm not actually like sick sick. So like I got a headache yesterday and I was feeling a little bit nauseated, I went to bed, I woke up in the middle of the night, I thought I was going to throw up, I didn't, I pooped. It's time to go eat breakfast. I'm worried about like overdoing it. But it's really not that big of a deal. Like it is a big deal for me, but like I really think I'm gonna be just fine. I'm gonna be using this. I There's someone that I follow on TikTok and she was talking about her anxiety and how it keeps her from being able to do, uh, like grow as a person, etc. And she gave this formula or whatever you wanna call it. And I loved it so much, I wrote it down and I'm gonna use this. So she says, weigh out your pros and cons and I'll tag her information below. I'll put her information below so that you can go, uh, you know, look at her video yourself. Weigh out your pros and cons. Also, this is not my, my idea, to be clear. This was her idea. Sorry, weigh out pros and cons. Scale one to 10 of how uncomfortable it makes you feel and why. Do the hard thing. When you're done with the task rate right on a scale of one to ten how bad it actually was i think that's so smart because there's been so many things where like nine out of ten times when i do something it goes phenomenally and it goes way better than i think it's going to and then maybe there's one time it didn't go so great and it had, but like i ended up being fine at the end of it um and then write how i feel about the situation and how it went so essentially just connecting the before thoughts and the after thoughts and kind of like reaffirming to your brain that like you can do hard things and you're going to be okay. Okay, I feel like that's all I have to say. I'm going to go eat breakfast. I don't know what to do with the rest of my day besides stress about whether I'm going to go today or not. I just finished breakfast. 
I'm just like thinking about what I can do today to prepare myself in case I do decide to go to the store. I'm just gonna do a bunch of like grounding activities, relaxation, like I might do a foot soak. Um, I'll probably take a nap this afternoon. I might not even be able to sleep, but I think it'll be good just to rest and do nothing. I'm also thinking I should get ready for the day. I want to feel dressed up enough that if I do decide to go out that I'll feel like presentable, but not so much that I feel like I did a whole outfit and then I'm gonna feel bad if I decide to not go and then I got all dressed up for nothing. You know what? I actually changed my mind. We are gonna go today. We're gonna go. I don't know if we'll make it the full way. I don't know if I'll end up going all the way to Smith's, but you know what I am gonna do today? I am going to take my scooter out to the main street because for some reason that's like the hardest part in my brain because that's like the first step. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna try. We're gonna see how far we get. If we really don't feel well, I'll just come home. At least I tried. That's still a success. So oh, now it's sinking in. <laughs> and I really, oh, oh, there's a hair in my mouth. I really don't want to do it next week. So I'm gonna do it this week. I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna assume that this is gonna go well. Now I'm a little nervous. But I'm excited. But I'm nervous. Okay, so I just realized something. I have my I have my little foot soak down here ready to go. I put on some vibey music. And then I just realized that I'm actually scared that it is gonna go well. I'm not exactly sure why, but like, <laughs> I think it's just like, I've wanted this for so long, like I haven't been able to go out since last year by myself. And this will be so important to me if I can go out there and if it goes well. And I think it's going to, because I feel really good about it, and I don't know, that just makes me, like, <laughs> emotional, because I was using that to motivate myself, like, what I don't want is to be stuck inside for the rest of my life, what I don't want is to have my progress be slow, what I do want is to be able to go out by myself and what I do want is to become more independent and this is such a huge step towards that and I think I know that it is gonna go well. <sighs> this is so weird, like, I'm, I'm kind of sad and overwhelmed about the idea that <laughs> something that I want so bad might actually happen. <laughs> I think it's gonna go well. I think it's gonna happen. It, it was, it's kind of like my dream might actually come true. The past few years have been some of the hardest years of my life. And I think I kind of got used to the idea that life just is hard and that I can't have everything that I want. And that's what I've been working on the most recently is focusing on letting myself receive good stuff. And like, it doesn't make me a bad person to want good things for myself. And it doesn't make me a bad person to want support and love and help. It's kind of an adjustment to go from feeling like you don't deserve these things and then you actually receive it and then you can, like those old thoughts and habits come up of thinking like, oh, we don't deserve this, this is too good for me. But that's not true because I do deserve this and I do deserve to feel good and I do deserve to go to the store by myself and I do deserve all the good things. It's up to me to let myself let that in and like let myself be helped and let myself be loved and let myself be supported and let myself have a good time and be able to do something really big and enjoy it and feel good about it. Okay, so I have my outfit on. Oh, I did my makeup. I did my hair. 
I'm going to go, what time is it right now? Okay, it's 6.16 right now, and I'm going to leave at around 8 because sunset is at 9, so that way it'll be a little bit cooler. I won't have to worry about getting a sunburn, <laughs> which is, for some reason, I'm, like, worried about that. And I think the main thing is it'll, it'll have, like, a good view. Like, it'll be close to sunset, so I'll be able to watch that on my ride home. So I'm trying to, like, give myself as much stuff to make this as easy as possible. The anxiety before doing something seems to feel a lot worse than... I'm gonna put this down. Like, I'm sure once I get out there and I'm riding on my scooter, I'm gonna have the wind in my face. I'm just gonna be, like, feeling cool, sunglasses on, backpack on, ready to go. It's just a few blocks down. Uh, it's like the first couple blocks that I'm worried about the most. <laughs> but I'm also trying to not like stuff down my feelings. I'm trying to feel how I'm feeling and just like let it be there and accept it and validate it instead of just being like, don't feel anything at all because then you can just ignore it because I don't think that's, that's not good. Like, I keep telling myself, you only have to like go the first block. Like, you just need to go out to the main road see how you feel, go one block, see how you feel, maybe try the second block, by then you'll be super close to Smith's, like I keep thinking that, and then I had this thought of like, you're just trying to trick me into going the full way, and I'm like, yeah, kind of, because like, we need to do this, we need to go conquer this fear, but like also I need to listen to myself, if I'm just not ready, I'm just not ready, but I won't know until I actually do it, right? And then I realized that me getting ready to go, me charging my scooter, me um, setting the time that I'm going to go out tonight, which is going to be at 8 o'clock, and when I get on that scooter, and if I do only get out to the main road and I come back, I've already succeeded. Like, I already did it. Um, I've just, I've already done it. Like, that's what I was supposed to do is try. And so if I try then I've succeeded. And it's kind of hard for me to wrap my brain around that because I just want so badly not to fail and I have this expectation that in order not to fail, like, I have to make it all the way to Smith and I have to make it back. And there's a good chance I will just have a really great time and it'll be fun. But there's also a chance that, like, maybe I won't have a blast, but maybe I'll just make it there and back and that'll be great. I mean, there's a chance, like, I'll have an issue and I'll have to take myself home or someone else will have to take me home. But, like, if I try to go out, I've already succeeded. And me even deciding to do this today was a huge step. <laughs> it's like still scary, so I have to like validate the part of me that's nervous and that's scared. <laughs> and also validate the part of me that's worried that if I'm too independent, that like people won't want to help me anymore if I need help and people won't love me as much if like I don't need attention. <laughs> I really want to make it all the way there though. And I don't want to not make it all the way there because I feel like that reaffirms in my mind that I'm just not ready. And I want to be ready and I feel like I'm ready and I want to make it there. And I, I already am planning on getting myself a thing of ice cream and then I decided that Lemonhead sounds really good and like I need some ear, what do you call those, con swabs? The, I forget what they're called. Ear those sticks with the two con balls on the end. <sighs> but it's getting closer. And I'm getting a little more nervous. No, I'm just waiting. It's a waiting game. <sighs> waiting till 8 o'clock and then I'm gonna head out. Okay, so it's 10 minutes before 8 o'clock. So weighing out the pros and cons. Pro, if I go, I will have made a huge step whether I'm able to go all the way to the store or not. Um, I will be showing that I am to myself and to the universe that I'm on my way to independence and that that is what I want and I'm manifesting that through my actions. Uh, I will be facing a huge fear and I will be on my way to money, a job, my own place, driving, more experiences, more freedom, etc. And if I don't go, cons, um, I'll stay stuck depending on others, I'll have limited freedom, I won't get to take myself places on my own time, and it halts my plan for moving out, getting a job, etc. 
Um, okay, so weighed the pros and cons on a scale of 1 to 10. If I go on a scale of 1 to 10, how uncomfortable it makes me feel, it's like a 7. Um, so writing how uncomfortable it makes me feel and why. So I'm scared of failure, I'm scared of not being ready and having to wait, and I'm scared of needing help. <sighs> but if I stay, that's like a 10. Because if I stay, I'll stay stuck as I am now, which I worked hard to get where I am now, but it's not where I want to be. And if I were to know that I was going to stay where I am now um, for forever or even for the next few months, I would be so frustrated. So that's like a really scary thought to me. If I'll stay stuck as I am now, uh, that's no job, no, I'll have limited freedom, limited independence, limited resources, limited experiences. And then the next step is to do the hard thing. It's time. I'm gonna get ready, put shoes on, pull my scooter out of the garage and grab my helmet and everything, and then we're gonna go. This is like how I've overcome fears in the past, is just taking it one step at a time and remembering what it would be like if I didn't do this and remembering what it is that I'm trying to achieve through doing this. All I have to do is take my scooter out of the garage. All I have to do is ride my scooter just to the end of that thing. And then once I get there, all I have to do is just take it like one more block. And then <laughs> we're just going to stop there. Okay, so I'm going to go get ready and then we'll film the rest of this. Ah, here we go. I did it! I'm home! I went to Smith's! I got the cotton swabs! I got the nature bellies because they didn't have lemon heads for some reason. So, and I was like wanting these a few days ago, so I was like, <laughs> we'll get them! And I didn't get the Ben and Jerry's because this was cheaper. I freaking love this stuff, this gelato. Mmm! So I did good. I got nervous like after I hit, it's like three blocks away. I got nervous after the second block. Like I felt, it wasn't like my heart was racing or palpitating. It's like I kind of was just aware of my heart. Like, yeah, I got like a tiny bit nervous, but then like Smith was just right there and I made it and I did it and I was all by myself. And it wasn't even awkward at all. Like, maybe it was a little bit weird that I was there with my scooter, but, like, it was fine. It was actually a lot harder to navigate having the scooter than it was, like, being embarrassed about having a scooter. <laughs> so, yeah, it's nighttime now. The sun is down. I am so happy. Ah, uh, and it was just so nice. It was, like, really peaceful. Like, I was still a little bit nervous in the beginning, but, like, just having the wind blowing in my face and, like, being on my scooter and it just felt so nice and so fun. So I did it. I'm so happy. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm more like just ugh, relieved. So yeah, I'm going to eat my ice cream, but I did it. I'm so happy and I'm thrilled because that was so easy. I know that for sure I can now take myself to my own hair appointments and I know for sure I can go to the library because that's even closer. Um, and I'm sure pretty soon I'll be able to take myself to my own therapy appointments. So... Oh, yeah. One last thing, I forgot to put this in there. Um, doing the last part of the steps that I was, like, following. Um, where I, like, rated it 1 to 10 and pros and cons. Um, then I did the hard thing, and then when you're done with task, rate on a scale of 1 to 10 how bad it actually was. Scale of 1 to 10, it was like a 1 or a 0, 
it ended up being so easy it went so well i was barely even nervous and right how i feel about how the situation went um it went really good and now i'm really excited and now i'm really pumped and i'm so stoked to do more stuff and I'm just really excited about everything. I'm excited that it went well. I'm excited that I did it. So yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs>